So, stepping back, this is the tank set up here. We've got a range tribune on vented hot water cylinder. So first off, we've got the mains inlet valve, which comes up and then tees off and goes to the multifunction control valve here, which will come in. And this bit here is basically the pressure reducing valve. So you're able to reduce the pressure via here. This outlet here would be for your balanced main feed, but they've obviously not done it here. Then this is your pressure relief valve. So if this exceeds the three bar that it's set at, then I think it's set at three. It's actually set just a wee bit higher. Um, if that exceeds that, then that'll safety discharge off round for the, and then this is your safety, this is your, your pressure relief valve. And then you're able to tell what's dripping. Normally, if it's cold and you feel the water, it's cold here, it's this. And then if it's hot, that'll be your temperature relief valve, which is this here. So we'll follow that on. Down to your elbow here, down and round. And then you'll have your cold inlet, your mains inlet, which will come in. Fill the tank up for the bottom. Then up to the top. And then up here is your hot outlet up on top of the tank. And then we'll go round to... The heating side, so your flow and return, you'll come up, so this one here is your flow, comes in for this, it's a bit dusty, it's not been looked at in a while, that's your, um, your heating pump, so what I'll do is that'll propel the water and push the heating round, and then we come to this, is a bypass valve, I'll explain what that is in a minute, so the flow will go down, and then over here we'll have this zone valve, and then this zone valve. This I'll do the hot water and this one I'll do the heating. So when you click your programmer on for heating, what will happen is that pump will turn on, the boiler will kick in and it will start firing hot water around here. And then when you switch to the heating to the hot water side, that one will shut down and then this one here will open up. And then when you shut the both of them off, what happens is the pump will stop running, these valves will shut. And what will happen is in here you'll have an excess of water, excess of heat, and then the heat will then end up going round this. So this bypass valve here helps it circulate around the flow and return to stop a build up of heat in this area. And then what you've got here is your cylinder start, which will then help you control the, the temperature that you want it set. And then here you've got your immersion, so if your hot water, your boiler doesn't kick in. You can use this to, you know, top your hot water up. Up here, you have your portable water vessel. So this is where the expansion of water heads into. And then up here, you've got your heating vessel, the red one. So what will happen is if the water expands, when the heating heats up, the water expands, it needs to go into that vessel. And that vessel should really be checked for air to make sure it's fully charged so the water can expand into it. So if the vessel is flat, what will happen is it'll end up going down this little red valve here. So this is the safety discharge for the heating, which will go down and connect it tees in underneath. So that is an unvented hot water cylinder and the basics.